Hey, you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's almost time, but not quite yet. Almost time to put the what? The lime and the coconut. We're going to get there. I've got a coconut fragrances video lined up, but I did want to do a couple of other summer videos also. Today's video is going to focus on luxe fragrances for summer. I'll explain what that means in a second. We're going to do a fresh summer fragrances video, a coconut video, and then we're also going to do a beach fragrances video. To me, those are maybe four different kind of vibes, although there's a lot of overlap between them. And you may see fragrances in one video that you think belongs in another, or you don't see fragrances in one video and you wonder why. And it's because I'm going to try to talk about them across the, the four videos. Now, even with the four, I can't fit everything in that I just love and adore for this time of year. So as I've done in other videos, I'm going to be putting those in a pinned comment below if you want to check out additional options. So for this video, Lux Summer fragrances. I'm thinking about those really opulent, rich smelling fragrances, sometimes floral, sometimes other tropical notes that make you feel like you are living your best life on the most beautiful vacation ever. These are like what I would call your resort fragrances where you put on like this, a long flowing dress and you're ready for a beautiful dinner. Maybe it's a luau, maybe it's some other kind of cookout or a barbecue on the beach. And you want that really deep, delicious fragrance on that's feminine and pretty and tropical, maybe floral, like I said, and you're just living your best girl life. So let's get into it. I have 16 that I want to feature. And yes, that is dramatically condensed from the original list that I started off with. I'm trying really hard to edit myself here so that we don't have hour long videos. Let's go. We're going to kick off with maybe that quintessential luxe summer fragrance, the one that sort of embodies it. Actually, there's several in this category that really come to mind, but many of us know and love Aaron Hibiscus Palm. I do like these bottles with the sort of faux gem tops. I didn't at first, I thought they were a little wonky, but they've grown on me. So what is this fragrance about? For me, it's mostly a yellow floral forward fragrance, a Lang Lang, Frangipani, those sorts of yellow florals that we associate with the tropics. There are white florals too. There's a white Lotus Accord in the fragrance, as well as some coconut. And there's a sort of solar feel to it where you feel like you're out in the heat of summer. And according to the brand, the way that they describe it, it's like the sunshine on the beach. For me, it's a little bit thicker than that. It's not quite like sitting on the beach in the middle of summer. It's more so like the evening aspect of it. And it's got like a, ooh, we got some thunder y'all. It's got some richness to it, which I think is really beautiful. Some folks complain that this isn't a long lasting fragrance. For me, I would say it's moderate in terms of being a summer fragrance. I get a few hours out of it, maybe up to four ish, five ish. And then it gets really soft, like a skin scent after that. And other folks have really good performance with this. Nonetheless, this is just one of those sort of quintessential summer fragrances that if nothing else, I would say sample it and see what you think of it, just so you know what it smells like, because it is so often referenced as a luxe summer perfume. Very pretty, in my opinion, very much capturing the essence of a tropical summer garden. One that's newer to my collection and I have worn recently and really, really enjoyed is Very Sexy Oasis from Victoria's Secret. I think the bottles on these are really, really cool. There are three notes featured on the Victoria's Secret website for this. Tuberose Blanche, which I suppose means just the lighter version of tuberose or softer tuberose. Not sure what the Blanche part refers yes, to. I know that Blanche means white. I get that, so I'm picturing a softer tuberose camellia and then orange flower. And I love that this fragrance has this sort of bright, almost tangy fruitiness to it that makes it a little bit more playful maybe than like the hibiscus palm, which is more deeply into the floral direction with some of that creamy coconut in the background. This one leans more playful and fruity, but yet still in a grown up direction. I don't really get a lot of like, like a juvenile feeling from this or a young feeling. I know that's hard to describe in, in words in a video, but I guess what I'm getting at is that I feel like this is a super appropriate fragrance for summer. For those of us ladies, you know, maybe in our middle-aged years and older, a really nice one if you want something that's different from the typical floral balm of, for summertime. So, but definitely still thick and heavy enough to be in the luxe category. Check this one out. 
Next up, I have Elang in gold. This is the nectar version. I talked about this in a previous video and forgot to put the nectar onto the back of the name. So I apologize if those of you who watched that video thought I was talking about just Elang in gold, which is also a nice fragrance. I sampled that. I kind of prefer this one. It's just slightly deeper. What I love about this fragrance is, you know, Elang Elang can sometimes come across a little bit like banana. And I think I get some of that in this fragrance, almost like the candy version of banana, not the actual banana that you peel and eat. Well, maybe some of that, but if, if you had a sweeter version of that, that was in some sort of dessert or candy form is a little bit of what I get in here, along with coconut and a soft sandalwood. This fragrance stays very much luxe for summer in the feel that it gives you. It's a rather sort of sophisticated yellow floral with some of that coconut and a little hint of woodiness for summer. Oh, the rain is really coming down. I'm trying not to be distracted, but it's hard. <laughs> it's a little intimidating. But this fragrance, I think, is one that I would absolutely wear out to summer evenings, summer daytime, but definitely summer evenings, like dinner and that sort of thing. I would say that this has a little bit of powderiness to it that I don't hear a lot of other people talk about. And I don't know if that's just it coming across as having a little bit of a wispier texture, but it's one of those like powdery things that gives you a little bit of dryness in the back of your throat. Not that that bothers me at all, but I just wanted to describe what that feels like. But if you have smelled Hanemori, remember that fragrance and I have that too. This is almost like a little bit of a denser, more grounded version than Hanemori, which is also beautiful. So if you wanna check out the scent profile, but maybe don't wanna splurge for the M. Mikolef version. Now this is a little one, but this was still oh. a pricey fragrance. Sometimes it shows up on discount sites. Check out the Hanemori, the butterfly one, and you get a similar vibe from that. Also a great fragrance for summer. Then perhaps one of my favorites for the category of Lux for Summer. This is a sophisticated fragrance. This is for the grown and sexy. This is for us ladies who really want to show out. We want to step out in our heels, our flowy dresses at the resort, and we want to enter the restaurant like we just, like we own the joint. <laughs> I would say Terracotta Le Parfum from Guerlain is a beauty. Uh, you can see I've been through a lot of this bottle and I have a backup of it. It's one that I don't want to be without. And sometimes there are rumors of it being discontinued and who knows, y'all know how the whole discontinued thing goes. I don't know, but I don't want to be without it. And what I love about this fragrance, if you all remember Bain de Soleil, and I'm talking about the really luxe smelling summer suntan lotion fragrance. Imagine that in a grown-up perfume form. Like that This is a rather mature fragrance in my opinion. One that I didn't like love when I first tried it. I was like, this is a little different. And I tell you, I sprayed it on and got used to it and tried it a few times. And it's like an all-time, you know, love. Did this make it into my top 10? If it didn't, it should have, but I think that it did for life kind of a thing. This plays so beautifully on the skin. One that if you ever sample, be sure to spray onto your skin and not just on paper. In fact, you should do that with all your fragrances anyway, because so many fragrances smell so different on skin once it warms up and plays with your body chemistry versus just on paper. I think of all of the fragrances that I'm going to talk about in this video, this is the one that I would tell people to try first and foremost. If you don't like it, that's fine but I think it's important to try it out. One thing I don't like, I do love the round bottles, but I don't like that the sticker is just slapped onto the front. And like, I got this one on discount and it's likely because the sticker was, you know, a little bit off center or whatever. So that's annoying, but the fragrance itself is magnificent. This is like masterpiece status. If you ask me in terms of capturing the essence of summer, absolutely fantastic. We're going to take a quick break from the usual Lux summer suspects and go in a different direction, but we're going to go back, <laughs> back over there in just a minute. But I got to give some shine to a fragrance that I think is absolutely beautiful, gorgeous for the summer. You do have to be a floral lover and you do have to appreciate a little bit of greenness in your fragrances. This is Armani Privé. This is Vert Malachite. And this one doesn't get a lot of shine because usually the sister of this Rouge Malachite, the tuberose, spicy, delicious. Oh my God, that's a good fragrance too. And that one maybe had a, can y'all hear that? The thunder, the thunder, thunder, thunder and the lightning and the thunder and the lightning. <gasps> Vert Malachite, Rouge Malachite probably belongs in this video as well. Oh my goodness. This is so delightful. It's like equal parts greenness, white floral, and yellow floral. I believe it's jasmine and maybe lily. And also 
a lang lang and a greenness that's that's just in this beautiful concoction of a fragrance. It's grounded with just a little bit of a resinous touch to it to give it some, some depth and some base. But really, it is a bright, happy summer fragrance, spring fragrance. Well, I mean, you can wear this all year round, but this would be fantastic for your tropical evenings you all this summer. Vert Malachite, check it out. If you don't want to spring for something like this, there is a beautiful dupe by Riffs called luxury vert i believe is the name i had it and i think it's still up on my mercari if you're interested my mercari link is in the description box if you want to check out what i have on sale for you but anyway vert malachite gorgeous another beloved fragrance that i've talked about over and over again i did a house review on tiziana terenzi and i think i talked about 13 or 14 fragrances in that video this was in there as a, a cult favorite in this house <laughs> husband loves it kids like it this is to bit to bit in this beautiful gold bottle this is a musky peachy fragrance with some cotton candy a little bit of greenness a hint of coconut reminds me very much ooh of summer nights on the beach this is so so sexy so pretty long lasting projecting worth the retail price but you can always find this on sale somewhere i mean look if you this this fragrance makes my husband jump out of his chair when I walk by and come sniff me. So to bit, just check it out. You gotta like peach, you gotta like musk, you gotta like a deep sultry fragrance, but it is powerful and I love it. The next one I have for you officially has a new bottle as I understand it. I don't care for the bottle that it's in and I'm gonna try to use it up this summer so I can purchase the new bottle. I do like it that much. This is from Accendus and it's Luna Dulcius, Luna Dulcius. So this is supposed to be a coconut fragrance. I would say that this is more in the vanilla, sweet, musky direction with a lot of coconut as well. So if you look at reviews for this, people will list it as a coconut fragrance. And I don't think that that's wrong. I'm just saying that for me, the sweetness of the vanilla comes through more prominently than the coconut, but they are really nice players. And this is a more gourmand, sultry, luxe fragrance for summertime. Another beautiful one that I think is both daytime and evening appropriate will take you easily into date night and has really decent longevity and projection. And for some people lasts a super long time. I would say it's moderate. I regret that I have the version of the bottle that has this weirdo top on it. <laughs> I understand that the bottle portion is the same, but it has just a regular top on it now, which I'm going to try to get. But y'all, this is a great, great fragrance. If you like a sweet, almost gourmand, like I said, coconut leaning, but more so in the vanilla direction than anything else. I wouldn't call this a coconut fragrance for my for myself, but beautiful. A lot of tonka bean in here as well and a muskiness. I think this is just a fantastic fragrance for summer, like having your summer sultry best self. Along the same lines, but with a sexy, really sexy jasmine in it is Alien Goddess Intense. So I have tried the regular Alien Goddess. I'm still interested in that. That one is more in the sort of coconut solar direction. This one is more luxe and rich and summertime ready. This one has more of that original Alien DNA, except maybe toned down. So for those of you that are like scared of the original, you know, Alien purple bottle because it's a little too loud, imagine that softened up by a super duper heavy vanilla and a really nice coconut touch. The coconut isn't like a loud player in this fragrance, but it does, in my opinion, add some beautiful creaminess and depth to this. It does have a little bit of a resinous touch as well, but one of the star players in here is the jasmine that is accompanied by this gorgeous vanilla. This is one I would say spray on in the afternoons, going into evening in the summer as the night air is cooling down the earth. <laughs> you want to have more of a presence with your fragrance. I think during the daytime, this would be nice only if you apply it lightly. Otherwise, it could get a little bit cloying during the daytime because it is a thick, a thicker, heavy fragrance with some pretty good presence, pretty good performance and longevity too. So Alien Goddess Intense, Chef's Kiss. Next fragrance may be a little bit difficult to get a hold of. And actually there's three of them that I want to talk about, but the one I want to feature is Angel Iced Star. This one was released, if I'm not mistaken, in 2021, not 22, 2021. This one is about mainly a really strong, juicy pineapple, a thick coconut, and a beautiful vanilla mixed together with some sweetness. This smells like a gorgeous tropical drink on the beach. 
It's really strong and really long lasting in my opinion. Again, the thunder, do you all hear that? Wow. So this is the 2021 version and then there's a 2020 version that looks similar to this similar coloring and it has, it features a fig note. And then the 2019 version has more of like an orangey, corally color. And that one features a nice mango note. So they're all similar, except there's mango that's prominent in the first one, then fig in the 2020, and then pineapple really in this version. If you can get a hold of any one of them, they're all great. I think I sold off the 2021 version because I didn't want to keep too many of them. This one is really my personal favorite because of the juicy, juicy pineapple that's in it. Really enjoy this. And I love to layer this also over like a lemon yogurt fragrance that I have from the body shop and then also any pineapple fragrance you all that coconut pineapple fragrance from bath and body works plus this yes that's like a tropical dream combination there then y'all it's super hard to have a summer luxe fragrances video if you don't have a bronze goddess in it <laughs> there's a lot of versions of this the one that i always feature is in the bronze bottle and it has the turquoise top on it and it is opaque okay it's like a metallic mirrored like opaque bottle if you can get your hands on this i purchased this at the cosmetics company store and you can sometimes check there or call around to the cosmetics company store and see if they have this version this is an eau de parfum version i also have like an eau fresh version that is delightful doesn't last super long but it's like the most luscious suntan lotion fragrance and i'll talk about that in another video this one this the reason that this is in this Lux video is because it is equal parts, a deep, heavy, absolutely like fleshy, so good coconut and vanilla and frangipani. So yellow floral, deep, sexy vanilla and coconut mixed in one. More than anything, the vanilla comes forward. So there's something a little bit like sultry, uh, grown up, sexy gourmand about this fragrance but just a touch of the gourmand piece. I don't mean that it's edible, but I do mean to say that I feel like I want to eat my arm off when <laughs> I put this on because I smell so dang sexy. This is for the grown and sexy, you all. This is for dinner. This is for, I mean, you could wear it during the day too, but this would be one of those like evening, summertime, absolutely fantastic jams where you put it on and you just feel like you're, you're in your highest feminine energy self. So I would definitely advise checking this version out. Although quite frankly, all of the bronze goddess versions are nice. It's just a matter of the depth that you want. This one is the sultriest and the deepest and the sexiest version. Some of the other ones can be a little bit lighter and more in the suntan block direction. So whew, check this one out. Speaking of floral, vanilla, coconut fragrances, one of my all time Lux favorite summer fragrances is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one intense. I only regret having this smaller bottle, but I'm making my way through it. I have a lot of fragrances that I am making my way through, and this is one. I tell you, when this is done, I'm definitely re-upping and getting the bigger bottle. In the opening of this fragrance, there's a citrus apple aspect that's really bright and delightful. And as it settles down, a lot of the white floral comes through. I believe it's a nice jasmine note along with coconut and vanilla, and it's sultry and it's sexy. And another one that my husband really enjoys when I wear and I feel like I'm living my best life, I'm living my best life. This can go all four seasons, although that coconut aspect of it and the opening that's jovial and fun with the apple note is really, really particularly fantastic for warmer weather, but it's heavier. It's a heavier fragrance. So if you're someone that wants lighter fragrances for summer, actually maybe none of the fragrances in this video are for you, but certainly not this one because it is a denser, thicker, sexier fragrance. And some people maybe even find it a little bit cloying because of the combination of the vanilla and the white florals in here. But I think there's a nice coconut to balance that out. And I think it's just particularly delightful. So this is a big thumbs up for me. And then one that for me is kind of a cross between that angel ice star with the pineapple and the coconut and that only one intense, sort of a cousin to the only one intense is Dolce Garden, Dolce Garden. So this has sort of been a longstanding favorite in a lot of people's summer fragrance arsenal and it continues to be in mind. Hubby loves this one too. It reminds me a lot of both of those fragrances because even though this doesn't have pineapple in it, it has a really fresh opening to it, like a fresh, almost tropical citrus aspect. But you do get, as it starts to calm down, a super sweet, almost fruity, floral, 
fruity, not in like the fruit punch juicy direction. Fruity is in like tropical fruit, even though, like I said, I don't know that there's any tropical fruit listed in here. You definitely get coconut and vanilla and some florals, some beautiful yellow florals in here as well. This is another thick, almost like on verging on syrupy fragrance. It's sweet and it's delightful and it's a very like lush, rich smelling fragrance that is highly feminine, very pretty. And if you spray too much, can be cloying. So watch out and make sure that you keep your sprays on the moderate side, particularly in the very high heat of summer. But this for me is like a staple, a must have. And it's interesting because I see some people starting to declutter this or it started to declutter in, you know, last year and the year before. And y'all it's still hanging strong in my collection and one that hubby compliments me on every single time that i wear so let's go on to the next beauty this was was it a blind buy did i try this i did try this i sampled it but like i always say sampling and buying a full bottle can be completely different experiences and i liked it on the sample and i said it was like body sprayish but i was still i still wanted it then this puppy arrived and i sprayed it and it <laughs> It was like the heavens parted. It was like, oh, where has this fragrance been all my life? And even sniffing it now, it, it moves me. Like it emotionally moves me. This is Simone Andrioli's Leisure in Paradise. Leisure in Paradise. Oh my goodness. Where has this been all my life? So I'd like to describe for you what this smells like to me. And yes, I have sprayed it there. Wow. This is like if, and so don't worry about what the notes say. Just listen to me. Listen to me. Strawberry shortcake, the smell of the doll strawberry shortcake meets Fruity Pebbles cereal. I'm not a cereal eater, but I remember what Fruity Pebbles smells like. Meets tropical fruits, meets coconut, meets milk and vanilla. Smash all of that together and you have this absolutely mouthwatering, emotionally moving beauty. Like I almost had a spiritual experience. <laughs> I'm being dramatic, but when I tried it out. Now, when you talk about people hyping up fragrances, go on and accuse me. I'm hyping up Leisure in Paradise. Now, you have to like a really fruity aspect. There's no getting away from that. And it's fruity in the body spray direction, almost like an Escada fragrance, like Escada fragrances for summer. Those are great. And equally, you know, vanillic, sweet, vanillic, equally milky, a nice thicker milk. It's not like the thinnest of milks. Well, it's not like, I wouldn't call it creamy, definitely in the milky direction. All right. And definitely coconut. I got it sprayed right there and it blows my mind. So that's all I'll say about Leisure in Paradise. I have worn this full body, full day type of thing. Loved it. Couldn't get enough of it. I don't feel like it lasted forever and ever and ever. It's not that kind of a fragrance. It's a little bit closer to the skin, but you do get some projection off of it, but it's not going to like, you're not going to smell this in the next room unless you overspray. And I feel like I got somewhere like half a day to six ish hours out of this. Let me know how this performs for you. But again, that's just me sniffing myself. I didn't ask others around me if they smell it because sometimes people can smell you long after you think the fragrance has faded. But this is worth in my mind, every single penny. You have to like a milky, coconutty, fruity experience. If the sound of those things together don't do it for you, don't even bother with this fragrance. But this was like heaven's, you know, clouds parting for me type of experience. Leisure in paradise. So the next fragrance I don't currently own, I believe it's on the way to me from PR, and I would be remiss not to at least include it in this video. It's Oud Jean Intense from Fragrance Dubois. Wow, this is a very realistic yellow floral fragrance with some fruity aspects to it, a tiny bit of musk in the background and a tiny hint of woodiness. But more than anything, this is about the yellow florals, a very realistic tiara and I think they're a tiara rather, and I think there's a lang, -lang in it as well. And it's it's it smells luxurious. It really does. I will say that this is a fragrance that has been just really expensive and hard to get on sale. So if you're checking out this fragrance, see if you can find a discount code from someone to shop one of the retail sites. It doesn't really show up on discount sites. I think I saw it once on discount on like fragrance net. Just check it out. If you're into luxurious fragrances that smell realistic, that smell high quality, Ojan Intense is definitely one to check out, but y'all, it is pricey. So you need to mean to buy it. Don't go blind buying this and definitely try a sample of it. Really nice yellow floral.
I have four more. Are you still there? If so, say still here in the comments. <laughs> and thank you for hanging out with me this long. This one is newer to my collection. I have sampled it before and I do like the other in the line. And I'm, let me just tell you what I'm talking about. This is the Hob from Kajal. The fragrance house is called Kajal. So there's the Hob, there's Lamar, and there's Almaz. And I'm interested in Almaz next. I may purchase that. Now, let me say quickly, Lamar is the one that got the hype first. It comes in a mostly gold bottle like this, except it's gold all the way around with a beautiful design. That one is heavier on the pineapple and it's really a good, good fragrance. And it lasts a long time. I really like that one, but I was drawn more to the note structure of this one, the Hob. And I tell you, so look, look how pretty that cap is. This fragrance, hoo, 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 hoo. it's mostly like a deep, dark, fruity fragrance. So this is a heavier one for summer and definitely an evening fragrance in my mind. You'd have to be pretty daring to spray this on in the daytime. And if you did that, I would say keep it on the light side because this is a powerful, strong, projecting fragrance. It's very heavy on a passion fruit note in the opening. So passion fruit and fragrances can be really deep and almost like syrupy sweet and fruity. So that along with, it has an apple note, although the apple I would say is less of a player in my mind than the passion fruit. That passion fruit really sort of mm, punches you in the face in the, in the beginning. And then it's also a heavily musky fragrance. I think this is beautiful. I think it's very on the sort of deep sexy side one that definitely has like in my mind a middle eastern flair to it in terms of the depth and thickness of it and you gotta mean to wear this this isn't one that i would spray on playing around it does remind me a little bit of tibet like it's in that same family of musky fruity fragrances so those i would say could be like cousins you know in terms of the way that they come across on the skin tibet is a little bit flirtier with that cotton candy aspect to it this one is thick and syrupy on the skin uh yeah this is a beauty of a fragrance and i think you can find this very much discounted now Oh, I have, hello, I keep forgetting to tell people I have a Joma Shop affiliate landing page. Woo -woo. So that is, that is in the description box. And I would encourage you to shop through that link. On the landing page, I have like 20 fragrances that I recommend. But as long as you go in through that link in that landing page, you can search anywhere you want on Joma Shop. And it's still sort of credited back to me. There's no additional cost to you. I just get a little bit of commission from Joma Shop. I think I got this on Joma Shop now that I, I bring that up. So anyway, I believe it's like $130 or $40 on Joma Shop, which is a nice bargain for this fragrance. And I would also say check out uh, Lamar, the sister to this. And I am going to check out Almaz next. Do you have Almaz? Please let me know in the comments your thoughts and if it's something I should pick up. But yeah, boom. Another newer fragrance to my collection, and I purchased this along with Dahab through Joma Shop, so you can get this on there at a deep, deep discount. I like a deep discount, y'all. <laughs> Arethusa from Tiziana Terenzi. I have a lot of Tiziana Terenzi. Did I say that already? I filmed a video on the house. Go check it out. I'll link that below for you too if you're interested. I didn't have this in that video because I didn't have it at the time. I was a little intimidated to purchase this because the reviews talk about it smelling marine-like. Forget what the notes say this smells like. Okay, let me just talk to you about the beauty that this is. This is mesmerizing, intoxicating in my opinion. My husband smelled it and he could not stop sniffing it. It smelled amazing on him and he loved it on me too. We were like, should it be on your shelf or should it be on mine? So we decided I would keep it on my shelf and I'll spritz him from time to time and surprise him. This is magical. Magical. Okay, so who remembers New West? New West, I think it was Aramis that sold that. The men's version of New West is, I believe, still sold or widely available or something. The women's version, you can't find anywhere because people are price gouging you. It's discontinued. It's out on eBay for like six and seven and 800. What the heck? Dollars? Come on, y'all. This reminds me a lot of the watermelon aspect of New West that wispy, almost ozonic, watermelony thing. And I realized there's a cologne note that creates that. I don't know if there's cologne in here, but it's along those lines. So imagine that New West meets a very muted version of Escape from Calvin Klein. Like if you thought Escape was a beast, imagine if someone toned it down enough for people who think it's beastly to actually enjoy it. 
smash new west and escape together and add a thin woodiness in the background and here you go arethusa and there's something just really intoxicating where you keep sniffing yourself and wanting to know more about this break okay. there's something more elevated and refined about this that I figured let me stick it in this luxe fragrance video even though it doesn't have like a lush base like some of the other fragrances that i mentioned it is sophisticated and different and unique and elevated enough that i find it to be more luxe than fresh but it does have a freshness to it as well like a fresh out of the shower aspect to it that makes it both easygoing and intriguing and i'm going on and on and i'm going to stop talking about this fragrance but check this out Whew, beautiful so then I have an honorable mention and maybe the fragrance that belonged in this video more than any others. And I had the nerve to almost leave it off the list. Like, well, you'll understand why in a minute. <laughs> so my honorable mention is, yeah, yeah, we're going to talk about it again. Kayali Yum Pistachio Gelato 33. <sighs> what a long name. We need a nickname. We're just going to call it Yum. And this really pretty sea foamy green bottle. The bottle does lend to the experience. The bottle, it smells nothing like what the bottle looks like, but I like the bottle. This fragrance to me is light and airy and fun and fluffy. It's like cotton candy. It has a sweetness to it. The notes are on the back here. Whipped cream, marshmallow, and cotton candy are what stand out to me. It says pistachio gelato on the top. I don't get a lot of pistachio gelato from this. Hazelnut and sweet rum. Yes, there's a little bit of sweetness, but definitely like that cotton candy, marshmallowy aspect with a creaminess to it as well. So it's both airy and frothy and has this light creaminess. And I said in other videos, and I'll say it again, that this reminds me a little bit, it has a touch of women's shave cream, not men's, women's. So if men's shave cream reminds people of fougere fragrances, there's an association there. This would, in my mind, be like the equivalent of a woman's fougere, if there is such a thing. In other words, maybe there's some sort of aromatic touch in here that's similar to what women's shave cream smells like. It has that sweetness, but it still has a little bit of the men's shave cream thing going on too. All of that combined together for this delightful experience. I wouldn't call this luxe in the sense that it's a little bit more flirty and friendly than maybe a luxe fragrance might like evoke in your mind. But I do think it's worth mentioning and one that I didn't think fit in the other categories that I'm going to record for for the summer. So I'm placing it here. And I'm going to end this video with a fragrance that I didn't put on the list. Like who even am I that I forgot to add this amazing beauty to the list? One that stole my heart when I purchased it blindly, had not tried it, and just fell head over heels for it when I opened it up, and is now in my top 10 for life. It is Vele from Tiziana Terenzi. Wow, wowzers. Ah! <laughs> okay, this fragrance is not for everyone. Maybe it belongs in some other categories for summer, but what makes this a luxe for me is this amazing coconut accord in the fragrance that gives this a creaminess and a base and makes it very thick and substantive. It also has a luscious greenness to it. If green isn't your thing, you might hate this, but green in the opening and through the mid, and it has some beautiful tropical fruits in it. Is it passion fruit? I forget, but along those lines, like a sweet, syrupy, fruity, tropical aspect to it with that coconut, with that greenness. This is everything I ever dreamed a summer fragrance to be and more. So actually, I'm going to say try terracotta for the iconic nature of what it is. Maybe you won't like it. Maybe you'll love it. And if you can get a sample of this from somewhere, try Vele because it is unique. There will be nothing else in your collection that smells like it, at least I think, certainly not in my collection. And if you like to smell different, with still some familiar aspects in it, you don't want to go way too far off the deep end, but you do want something a little unique and different. This is an absolutely, in my opinion, magnificent fragrance that I am delighted, delighted to have discovered in the past year or so. Now, I got to say thank you because I know this was a long video. I appreciate you watching. Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If there's something I did not mention that you think belongs in this video, Put it in the comments so that we can hear from you and check out your selections. And don't forget to check the description box for that Joma Shop link. Get your discount on my friends and 
Remember to look at the pinned comment for other recommendations for Lux summer fragrances. Mwah! Thank you for hanging out with me and go ahead and plan that summer resort vacation. You deserve it. Take care.